Well guys, it's that time of the month and we are back on the grind again. We're fresh off the release of the big Material 3 Expressive update and now we're back with the beta coverage as Android 16 QPR2 Beta 2 just dropped. I'm not gonna lie, it feels really good to be covering this stuff again. So let's take a quick look at everything new because QPR2 seems to be shaping up to be a pretty big update. And of course, if you wanna stay up to date with all this Android coverage, definitely subscribe to the 9to5 Google YouTube channel because we have a a lot more of it coming your way. All right, so here we are with the Android 16 QPR2 Beta 2 update freshly installed on our Pixel devices. For those who didn't know, these QPR updates that we're covering right now are giving us a sneak peek as to what we can expect with the December Pixel feature drop. In my opinion, those end of the year drops are typically the biggest ones, so it's always nice to get an early look at what Google is working on. Probably the most notable changes are with the home screen icons, as thankfully they got a few changes with this release. For one, the newly added four first icon theming that was introduced in the last beta received a noticeable adjustment where some apps are actually themed properly compared to the first iteration. So the colors and general readability should look a bit better with icons that required force theming in the first place, which is nice. Although some of the apps still look pretty rough, like the Delta Force app icon here, or some of the profile photo faces from Slack. Needless to say, they look pretty terrible with this old school negative film filter effect, so unfortunately Unfortunately, there is still quite a bit of work Google is going to have to do here. But the second major change is we finally have access to icon shapes. It's been rumored for quite some time now, so I'm happy we can actually see them in action now. At this time, there are five different shapes you can choose from. The default circle option, square, cookie, which is this square with the rounded corners, a seven side cookie, and the arch shape. It's pretty early on, but initial impression, they all look pretty good. It's certainly nice to have the option, especially with Android customization being pushed more and more to stock launchers. We're definitely gonna have to see way more variety in the future. Regardless, try it out and let me know what you think. The best part of these icon shapes is you can use them with themed icons activated or deactivated as well, which means you can enjoy both both the new icon shapes and the theming if you so choose. Moving forward, we have a handful of smaller but still important quality of life updates. For starters, the update screen has a redesigned check for update button. Previously, it was a smaller prompt tucked away in the lower right hand corner, but now it's been made much bigger and is centered along the bottom of the screen, making it much more obvious and in line with the rest of Material 3 Expressive. There's a new option in developer options called text cursor blinking, where you can, as the name implies, adjust the text cursor blinking speed. Speed. This is done with a slider, so you can more granularly make the blinking animation faster or slower. It's a small, subtle addition, but I can see this being great for accessibility. Maybe slowing down the speed can help it be less distracting and make text editing a much more comfortable experience. But really, because this is Android, customization in general is just really nice to have. On top of that, a lot of settings pages now have explainer text to indicate if there are more options that need to be adjusted within a specific menu. Super useful for quickly seeing in more detail what specific options do without having to look it up or do a deep dive. Lock screen widgets, a feature introduced in QPR2 beta 1 that we have been waiting for is still here in beta 2. However, it seems to have a beta tag attached to it in the settings menu. This makes me think it may launch in a beta state when the official QPR release comes out around December time. This kind of makes sense as some widgets still look pretty rough on the lock screen and it might take Google a while to iron out all the kinks. It also seems this feature might be intended only to work while your phone is charging, and we have a few new options in the settings that reflect that, which is a little strange because right now it works even if you're not plugged in. And I think that's probably the way it should be, and if you agree, leave a comment because I have a feeling a lot of users feel the same way. And just a few more quick things, the privacy and security tab now regains its Material 3 expressive containers, a small design element that was removed in the previous update, steps tracked from the phone itself won't now show in Health Connect. And finally, there is an interesting bug where the media controls fail to show on the lock screen, even if the show media on lock screen toggle is turned on. Not a huge deal because 
obviously Google's going to fix it, but I did feel it was worth noting, especially if you installed this update and were a little bit confused on what was going on. Keep in mind, it's important to remember that all of this follows the QPR2 beta one update, which was already pretty sizable on its own. In that release, we had over a dozen updates or changes like expanded dark theme, the 9010 multitasking split and new on-device parental controls. And if you wanna know more about that, which you probably should, I'll have that video linked in the description. With that in mind, it makes sense that with this beta 2 update, it's more about adding a few extra things, doing some minor cleanup, and building on top of what we already got in beta 1. As a whole, the entirety of the QPR2 update is shaping up to be a pretty big one, with features I think the Pixel series has needed for quite some time now. And that, my friends, is everything new with the Android 16 QPR2 beta 2 update. As you can see, this update is less about brand new, crazy features, and more about refining the solid foundation that was laid in the first beta. Google is clearly focused on tidying things up, adding deeper layers of user customization like new icon shapes, and most likely gathering feedback on features like forced icon theming, so definitely leave the feedback wherever you can. Regardless, when you put all of these changes together with what we got in beta 1, it does seem like a promising update for the December feature drop. I'm going to talk a bit more about this in my upcoming two weeks later review on the Pixel 10, but I feel the December feature drop really needs to be a solid solid follow-up for the Pixel lineup as a whole, and hopefully it does make the Pixel 10 feel a bit more complete. But now, I want to hear from you guys. Are you a fan of the new icon shape options, and what do you think of the implementation so far? Also, and more importantly, what are your thoughts on this whole lock screen widget situation? Do you think they should work without the phone being charged, or are you not bothered by that little caveat? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, as I'm always super curious to hear what the Android community is thinking. Until next time. This has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.